Hello, this is author Keith Suarez and I wanted to create a uh, video to show some of the behind the scenes work that has to be done to be an independent author where you basically get to do everything yourself, the writing, the marketing, and in this particular instance, uh, cover design. Um, I don't do all of my covers, but I do have a background in graphic design, so I have done a number of them. Um, so when I put out the first Lightning Hopkins book, Struck, I did that cover. It is right here. And the problem with this cover, um, I think it's a cool layout, but the typography is a little weak. And it's not saying enough about the genre. It doesn't say enough about urban or fantasy. There's no magic happening, and you can just barely see the city in the background. So now that I'm about to put out uh, book two in the series, uh, I came up came across another problem, which is that there are absolutely no more shots of this model that would work that are available to me in stock photography. Uh, I looked around to see about completely replacing the model with another stock of, uh, set of stock images, and that was basically impossible too, because you get you can get a bunch of images of the same model, but they'll often have poses or expressions that just don't work for what you're trying to do. So. The only other option would be to get my own photography, and I didn't think that was really going to be a possibility, but then reached out to a friend of mine who's a professional photographer, Dave Scabone, and he was able to find a, mo a model named Stephanie Jpeg, and we uh, did a photo shoot uh, a little while ago and ended up with 617 different images that I can now use for covers and other prom promotional materials for uh, the Lightning Hopkins series. And what this video is going to be doing is showing you a little bit of the behind the scenes for the photo shoot, but also some of the behind the scenes for the photoshopping that has to happen to take an image of a woman standing against a white backdrop and turn it more into something like you see back here. Uh, this was for John Black. It's obviously a collection of images that have been put together um, to make a really compelling and interesting book cover. So hopefully that's what the end product will be here. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, showing you the process of putting the cover together and hope you like the final product.